Just talk us through how important this core module is, what kind of role it plays. Uh, hi, Rob. Well, this is the first core module of China's first space station, uh, Tianhe, which means heavenly harmony. And as you said, it has some really important functions. It will have the control center. It will provide resources for up to three astronauts and, of course, their living quarters as well. It's about 17 meters long and four meters in diameter, and it's not as big as the International Space Station that's out there at the moment. Uh, but this is quite significant for China. It's been planning this for some time, and it currently has 12 astronauts who are training to live aboard the Tianhe, but there will only be three at one time living on a six-month rotation. Now, the first astronauts are planning to be sent at around June, and initially they will just stay there for the three-month stint. Now, this core module will be followed by two other modules, which are designed specifically to house scientific experiments. And this will be really significant for the international scientific community. There will be a variety of areas studied, including in quantum physics, microgravity, and biotechnology. Uh, and overall, this space station will be completed in orbit by 2022. So we have at least 10 more missions after this to see it completed. This is only the latest in a series of very significant events that China's uh, been carrying out in, as part of its space exploration program. But there, of course, there is a lot of speculation about what its um, ambitions, if you like, in space actually are. That's right. Well, China first planned for this space station in the 1990s, and it became the third country after the U.S. and Russia to launch a man into space in 2003. And it, since then, it's conducted a number of spacewalks as well as crewless missions. In December, it sent a rover to the moon and collected lunar samples, and that was the first time that had happened since the 1970s. And it's also planning to send a rover to Mars later this year. Now, China and Chinese President Xi Jinping has made no secret of the fact that it intends to become a space power to rival the U.S. And to that end, China has been working more closely with Russia uh, to develop, develop its space technology, and it may also collaborate with other European countries, such as Italy. Interestingly, though, NASA is barred from working with China because of security concerns on the part of the U.S. And there have been a number of Western governments who have raised concerns about China's space ambitions because they say this will certainly have some implications for its military capacity on Earth and potentially its geopolitical ambitions as well. Katrina, thank you very much indeed. Katrina, you talking to us from Beijing.